come so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. What is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! Take out 
Dragon. The limo is in trouble. Get back there, ASAP! So you're Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer? <laughs> Don't do it! Don't worry now. I won't. Not while he's still useful. <laughs> so long. building. Go! There! Get him! That damn you chief! It still works? Bastard off! 
<laughs> too little too late, hero. I won't be needing my little shield here any longer. Things war has done for us. Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, a common purpose. Raiden, forget me. Stop him. You ain't listening. I got in? All we're saying... Give war a chance! No! Bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. <laughs>
So good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raiden? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? The combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mics out, closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick brief. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsaev, leader of the occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Mani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out, Justin. Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. are using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To parry incoming heat, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive.
Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, Raiden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Raiden, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. Also on site, Mistral, a Desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Greeting, cyborg. Show yourself. the meaning of life. Why are we here? I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! Ah! 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 Ah!
What would an AI know about freedom? <laughs> so that's where they're holed up. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most likely it opens only if you have the right ID data stored in your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it? You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely, platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. Just dodged a bullet. All right, I'm heading for the refinery. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsaev, where is he? I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian, but white as snow. A natural born killer. Even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. But I butchered those fuckers. My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq, in Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino, one after another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I... protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them.
Guys lined up, right? Yep, all set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully, anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw them a bow. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. Wait, 
mariachi, ¿no? Un cyborg es el sombrero. ¿Qué? Adiós, amigos. ¿Viste? Qué raro, ¿eh? Hay que hacer que no lo vimos. Vámonos ya. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right. Let's get started. Your mission is to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <sighs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers, so you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> Sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Estás bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah. I'm from America. Call me Ryden. Me name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all damn America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no. I'm looking for bad guys. Our damn Skunter Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them Skunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, maybe live on the street, rake and scraper above, nah? Then this Kootenai dressed like the Mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What the worst gonna happen, nah? 
But that mother scorn don't put me on a last boat. They pack us all a pickable dirty container. Next thing we know, we're here at that zombie lab. All kids like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here what them scunt want to do. Snuff us out. And got all day organ. So you ran? Uh-huh. It's shame me not a bad ass robot ninja man. Same as you. Ha! <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah? Me done plenty bad thing, but me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. Me tried to warn the boy. I say, are you this brain gonna get cut out? Run your ass out of there. But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, <laughs> I need every detail about how you escaped. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find a server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of that technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. Heavy UG activity ahead. It is possible they are conducting test operations while the lab is closed. They're not going to make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? It's... It's a box. Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work, actually. Ah, this would appear to be the UG maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first, you need to take a dump. I... wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. A tripod or the like. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlay to control the proxy UG. All right, let's give it a shot. For now, yeah. But that room... Those were cyborg brain casings. Duh. We saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes. This must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere, but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait. The cyborgs you've been fighting... Did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. Ha <laughs> ha! 
are splendid. It is all ours. Now, use it to locate a data input terminal. These guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. That terminal is most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. Raiden, I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs. Guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes. yes you'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory in the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Tecumse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Hmm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. You definitely seem familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. Bad news, right? We can't find George. What? Maybe the coordinates you sent us were off? No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving. It has switched to biped mode. Careful. It is all your battle now. I knew I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. As in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. And get this. Two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain private... World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshall and Desperado in bed together. Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? 
This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs? You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Kev. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking and just no. Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. Mm-hmm. And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus Christ! Kevin, out! Ah, an artificial blood cryopreserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested organ, circulating this plasma to sustain oxygen levels. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body part for several hours. So what are they freezing, and why? I could not say. Perhaps they plan to sell off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, Raiden. Right. Anesthetic in smaller doses. But breathe too much of it? And adios, muchachos! Break that glass, and I'll blow his brains out! Surrender! Or decide the needs of the many or the needs of the few. Right in. Don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo! <laughs> Surrender! I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Huh? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ting. What if me can take this scunt to hell with me? Quiet! Hamilton is on his way to the Middle East this morning for his scheduled visit with Pakistani President Farooq Salam. The meeting is viewed as an attempt by the U.S. to strengthen relations amidst a surge of anti-American sentiment in the region. Yo, me ninja brother! George, good to see you up and about. How you feeling? Never better, nah? 
no pain, no more fast while them hunger space eat, and me never ever feel so awake, nah! That's because your blood sugar levels are being maintained automatically. Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh! Me been here you go while I got them scone in the base. Why the rasa you not take me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, kid. You'd just be in the way. Aw. Besides, I thought she didn't want to be a killer, right? Me don't, but... Killing isn't fun in games. Remember that. Right. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. Now! It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. Yeah, just remember that. Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have a Maverick employee involved in a corporate raiding now, can we? You could at least come talk to me. No. It was time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their parts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, Ryder. They import those brains legally, for medical purposes. It's all done. Being legal doesn't make it right. Ryder. I... Hold that thought. Cyborg, you are not licensed to operate in this area. You're in violation of state and federal law. Guess you'd better arrest me then. <laughs> 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 Eighteen three one zero four point seven, threatening a peace officer. Deadly force is authorized. They trashed my car. I'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Do you really have to do this? Look, I'm fed up with all of it. Companies like ours, yours, bend the laws when it suits business. Why not bend it when it can save innocent lives? Raiden. Boris, listen to me. That VR training. They'll be warped into killing machines. They'll be set on POWs, civilians. It'll be one atrocity after another. Like what you went through. We can't have any more Jack the Rippers. You saw what happened with George. I'm doing this, Boris. I have to. I can't save those kids from becoming cyborgs, but I can stop them from becoming murderers. 
Say you succeed. Say you get all the brains back. Then what? Just so happens I know un great cybernetic surgeon. Doctor, but he cannot... You won't change my mind, Boris. This is my fight now. And your wife and son? What of them? They're in New Zealand. Safe. Rose would understand why I have to do this. <sighs> All right, damn you. You do realize Marshall has the contract for law enforcement throughout the city. They are the law in Denver. Yeah, we've met. Well then... <clears throat> Officially... Maverick Incorporated condemns you and your actions as unlawful. And a pain in the asshole. Now, increase your codec encryption. Do not worry about the lag. And unofficially? I'll do all I can over the codec to help. I do not like what those mudaki are doing any more than you. Spasiba, Tavaric. Spasiba. Doc, what's your status? I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain units. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? Right, and of course. Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flight? Even manned helicopters possess a robust semi-automatic mode. It is simple, really. So simple that I can continue to monitor your status and World Marshal security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, their security procedures are quite poor. Quite poor. Sadly, I did not have the necessary permissions to override their plans. Nevertheless, the data I did find should prove most useful. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate it, Doc. Well, it's not every day one has the chance to collect so many brains. Think of the data! The research! Oh, and of course, your personal safety was a concern as well. This must be the railroad. It would appear so, likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a cyborg, I trust this is not a serious concern. Raiden, it would appear your only way forward is to return to the surface. You will exit into an evacuated commercial district. Security is heavy, but you need not worry about collateral damage when engaging the enemy. About time. Finally, I can cut loose. Proceed to the right from the exit. You will find a stairway on your right. Those stairs lead to a shortcut to World Marshal Headquarters. Do not be distracted by the advertisements. You are not here as a tourist. Sure. I'll just buy a quick souvenir or two for Rose and that'll be it. Raiden, we must hurry. Remind me to teach you about sarcasm sometime. I understand your attempts at humor. I simply do not find them entertaining. Isn't this all a bit much? Any decent lunatic would have quit after Mexico. Jetstream Sam. I heard you drop the lab director in half. Old habits die hard, eh, Jack? But now here you are. The child soldier. Fighting for the children. <laughs> Please. What do you really expect to accomplish here? Play savior to a bunch of brains? And what? Earn a medal? Think about it, Jack. Africans bury. The first world looks away. No one gives a shit. Not the media. Not the politicians. Certainly not the average Joe. Too busy spreading for money or sex, religion, fame. Just you and your little 
sword there. Sword of everything with violence. Is that it? My sword is a means to an end. To protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you. All those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? They're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their BMC contract. Usually they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the Nano suppress. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. My statement has upset you. I apologize. <laughs> no, it's... I know you're right. As for AIs, we adapt as we learn. Just as any intellect operates, man or machine, altering the course of mankind is not among my divine directives. I guess that's a relief. Samuel's behavior does not match established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. We served together on three previous missions. 
he proved most capable. You think highly of him. I have always found him dependable. Until now. Scouting data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow. Riley, your current emotional state appears highly volatile. I am sure you do not intend to abort the mission, but I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon, of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah, I guessed as much. on the insides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Penh taught me that. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up on the killing fields. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something great, means the DNA of the soul. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair, loneliness. Pass them on. How about for the ship? Is that a mean? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. <sighs> Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience.
You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you, all this is a wake-up call to what I really believe, what I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This, this is madness. You do it. Uh, all right. Pain. This is why I fight. <laughs> <laughs> that nickname you love so much. Want to know how I got it? Actually, why don't I give you a demonstration? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip.
be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. Your memes end here. Dude, I passed one. To you. Sure as the sun will rise. The slaughter will continue. Now, I return to the earth. Wind blows. Rain falls. The strong prey on the weak. All is as it should be. Raiden? I'm fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later. appear to be disabled, which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea. By all means, yes. Huh? It seems the guards are storming the building. Guidance, get back to the entrance. Buy me some time to get this elevator operational. Do not stray too far from the elevators, Raiden. Use the weapons around you to slow them down. Throw everything at them you can. Enough with the guards. Just get in the elevator. For security purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. Raiden, shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No, keep them off. I need it this way. Ah, uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs. But you, well, your past is most... Uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them. They're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. 
I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. All these sliders in the area. Perhaps they could be put to use. Ways up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, head for the garden. Thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. The server room's ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should I expect to find? If they're VR training those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, it's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. 
Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank-and-file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner's waiting, right? If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him. What? Miss Troll? She's... No. A spear body, if I had to guess. Like he controlled by an AI. Control that you pose no problem for you, yes? Disrupt the students while class is in session. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They do kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulated to performing all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. We've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. 
Like the good old days after 9-11! What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. Raiden, get Sundowner. Do not lose him this time. How's this, Jack? We can play up here without damaging the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful. What happens in three hours? He'll launch Operation Tacoon, say. Who? Armstrong? I've already said too much. I have a call to make. <laughs> Got yourself shaving? Raiden here. I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry. Raiden, what Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. He said even Mach 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. 
A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The War on Terror Part 2. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels would take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nieves Muzna, impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solis. Cargo's all set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. This kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Karman line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. Shit. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! but not strong enough to take out the drone. Here they come! I'll handle this. Raiden! Have a nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny. Chopper around.
sorry, my friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are all right. It's time you got out of Denver. Raiden, are you all right? I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal, and what's left of it. Right, it's Harry. It may be an RLV, but it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate for first cosmic velocity. It could require more than 30 minutes to get to Pakistan. <laughs> Raiden, I will join you in Pakistan. I will find a way to exit the helicopter. Proceed out of the city. I will contact you when I am on the ground. You have escaped the pursuit? Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. That should do nicely. Everything okay on your side? I am out of Colorado airspace and nothing on the radar. Good. I'm almost there. a little heart to heart i have analyzed his words and actions i am unable to ascertain his motivation ah, fancy meeting you here you knew i'd come i suppose i should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site <laughs> well not if you say it like that for a hired killer you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me? <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. I don't care who 
thinks I'm right. And I've got cause enough for killing you. What? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Don't interfere. This is between us. And it ends here. Okay. Let's dance! cyborg enhancements. Was this outcome necessary? Evidence inconclusive. I guess even AIs don't know everything. It is likely no single correct answer exists. Additionally, human conflict stems from opposing ideals and societal norms. I was not programmed with these guidelines. You're better off figuring those out for yourself. ID locked. A VT7 high frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My file indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. Mr. Ryden, sir? Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here! <laughs> Hi there, stranger. 
Hey, you're looking good. Aw, who's your little friend? Oh, it's a long story. Shake? <laughs> good boy! <laughs> I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry, not really. It's okay. Follow me. So exactly what kind of... You'll see. You built that? Yep. hybrid lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition! Sure we got the right place? Gotta be. It's the only base big enough with security contracted out to World Marshal. All right. I'm headed in. You see that? Their EXIF codes show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for this base. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal EXIF code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on sight, because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with... The Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the Desperado-Marshall connection... Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Uh, they'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. And I blew the winds of destruction away. 
I'll be fine. Ryder, there is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. Saucy Jack. Just a little too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. Ryder, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they? The story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism, unilateralism, materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit! The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! <sighs> we just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession it's been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? BMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? 
Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message. little bastard I don't have time for this oh you've got to be kidding me Promises, but all talk. What? Uh, 
jumpstart the economy. What a load of bullshit! All you care about is lining your own pockets. That and your approval rating. You've got no principles. Just like all the rest. If America's gone to shit, you're just another maggot crawling in the pile. <laughs> All right, the truth then. You're right about one thing. I do need capital and votes. Want to know why? I have a dream. What? That one day, every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it! A nation of action, not words, ruled by strength, not committee! Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around! Where power and justice are back where they belong! In the hands of the people! Where every man is free to think, to act for himself! Fuck all these lunatic lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats! Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America is diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! So I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars! <laughs> so, what do you think? How the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. I was wrong. You're not greedy. You're batshit insane! Making the money.
mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the weak, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life! And now, I'll take yours. Well, start to trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack. <laughs> what did I just say? Time to end this. That little sword can save your master. <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, 
You're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. You little fuck. <laughs>
Well done, Jack. Your dream dies with you. Oh, maybe not. You've guaranteed the status quo will go on. For a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution, as an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Oh, no. But at least, I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. Official pet ride for your family? But first, our top story. President Hamilton returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated... Unbelievable! After all that! For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden... There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? So all the pre uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets, or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> huh? No! <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Oops. Uh, an imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kid. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi, Sunny! Where you have this then? 
Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. The same age as me, but all this spaceship? You're genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Where did that come from? <laughs> oh! Alert! Alert! Release and enter. <laughs> <laughs> this is about a crazy world, nah? <laughs> For me, see that ninja. Me never think I've been this kind of life. Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know. Saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know is a hero. And how's business? Oh, good, good. Their doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear World Marshal's looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> now, the bread-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Uh, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So, your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? <laughs> I've got my own war to fight.